We're back with more clips from OTAs, and we're going to be taking a look at the Chicago Bears, and obviously, we're going to be taking a look at Caleb Williams. We got some clips from this week. We're going to be taking a look at that, but before we do, you need to click that subscribe button right now because we're going hard in the paint, looking at these rookies from OTAs, rookie camps, mini camps, training camps, on top of the veterans. If you want to see your favorite players behind the scenes, it will be right here. Click that button. Stop missing out. But let's take a look at Caleb Williams. About a minute of clips here. Most of it cinematic clips from the Bears. So let's take a look at what he's doing. This is what we got from this week. Him rolling out a little bit to commit. Him making the grab. Here's another one. Pitch and catch. Pitch and catch should look like pitch and catch, and it sure does. Here's another one. Rolling out a little bit on the run. There we are. There we are. Nice grab. Nice grab. Close up to him. Slings it. Gets it out there. Is that DJ Moore? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. This one blew up social media. Everybody was posting this one and reposting it. This one went viral this week. Here's another one. This was one of the newer ones. Off kilter. Side-armed. Best way to describe that. Caleb Williams looks the part. Caleb Williams looks like a top-tier NFL quarterback just by looking at his stature and his frame. However, his practice sessions did not go great from what I hear this week, from what I've read. There was a practice of a lot of missed passes that circumvented media. However, he's a rookie. It's just OTAs. It's only May. you got to give him time. And that's not all the throws or all the practices either from this week. It was just one. From what I hear, you can have an off day and still be good. That being said, Caleb Williams is putting together a good highlight reel. And we like that. He looks the part. You can see that on camera. But we have to tap into the potential and upside. That could happen. You'll know more in training camp. You'll have a better feel in training camp. Once things are live, once we get some pads on, we'll know, we'll have a good feel, we'll have more media looking at him as well, getting more rumors, more facts, more clips of what he's doing on the field. So far what I've read, I've read of one bad practice and everything else looking good. I take that with a grain of salt, and I know it's OTAs and I'm waiting for more. Mini camps in June. We have more OTAs next week and the week after. Plenty of time to get things right, to develop with this Bears offense. When I think of Caleb Williams, I think he's going to a team here that really is built around him with DJ Moore, Keenan Allen, DeAndre Swift. They got speed to burn. They got guys to check it down to. He has good wide receivers that can separate. They drafted Romo Dunze. His future wide receiver one. His future alpha. He's got a lot to work with here. He's got a lot to build with. You see him and Roma Dunze and those clips together. Off the field. Looks like they're building a good rapport. You look at that thing from the NFLPA. The premiere last week. He was with the Dunze the whole time. You saw Williams. You saw Dunze. You saw Dunze. You saw Caleb. They were together the whole time time which means they're building a good rapport you see these clips you're seeing a lot of dizzle you're seeing a lot of flash but guess what it's looking good caleb williams has a lot of upside but you should expect him to be like a rookie so you should expect a ramp up that being said still be patient don't throw the baby out with the bath water just yet caleb williams is still a good quarterback let me know what you think in the comments below make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out one thank you for watching catch you on the next video